Travis Wayne Goodsell. I wouldn't be doing this video. People do not understand this. Mormons do not understand this. Bullies do not understand this. Bullies think that they can do whatever they want and not experience any consequences that will turn against them. And so when a guy like me comes forward and stands up and says, No, leave me alone. They get upset themselves and they blame me for it. They think that I'm the bully when I'm standing up and saying, You will not hurt me. You will leave me alone. This is what the Mormon YouTube employee does not understand. I wouldn't be doing Mormon YouTube employee caught tampering on my channel. Wouldn't have done that video. And then I wouldn't have done a follow-up video if they had left me alone after that. Mormon YouTube employee not punished. Full retaliation mode. But he won't stop. Now I know it's the Mormon employee because they're doing something that I cannot do. Which means somebody didn't hack my YouTube channel. If anything, YouTube's been hacked. Because they're doing things that only YouTube can do. Taking away the Thumbnail? Yes, I can do that. But altering the number of thumbs down? Altering the number of views? I don't have that power. Only a YouTube employee has that power. Or somebody who has hacked YouTube. But I'm being targeted. Nobody else. Mormons testify Travis Wayne Goodsell is wrong. Was 128 views. This morning, it's down to 93. Looking at the anal analytical program for that channel, it still shows 128 views. I can't manipulate that. And so anybody who hacks me can't manipulate that either. And despite all of the send feedback, all of the other reports through other sources trying to say, hey, your employee is out of hand. Stop them. Have him leave me alone. Nothing is being done. He's in the position of power. And he's laughing. He thinks this is a game. He thinks he's protecting the church. When a Mormon thinks that it's up to them to protect the church, the church is no longer true. If the church were true, it does not need your protection. It protects itself with the truth. But the church itself has come out in the Gospel Topics essays and have confessed to lying, deceiving, and covering up the truth. So the bigger question is, why are Mormons still in the church? Because apparently they know it's false. The church says it's false. So why are Mormons still in the church? Now we can go back and, 
and make a hypothesis that it's the Brighamites, the Danites, because they were the rich who came to this valley. The poor were slaughtered, having to go in the winter time because of their poverty. If you are a Mormon, you cannot be an apologist for the church. It means the church is false if you have to be an apologist for the church. Just like a critic. If you are a critic of the church, which I am, then I can't lie. I can't just make stuff up. Oh, Joseph Smith met with Lucifer and made a compact to destroy the world. I can't make that up. If I am a critic, I must tell the truth. Because once I lie, not make a mistake, lie. I am no longer a critic. I am a cyber bully. And this is what the church is. This is what Mormons are. This is what the YouTube employee is. They are cyber bullies. Because they are perpetuating the abuse, the lies, the deceptions, the cover-ups. And what? Do you honestly think that the church is going to give you of their trillions for your loyalty to them? Or they'll bail you out when times get tough? No. The devil does not support his own. That's a precept of human behavior. I would not be doing videos critical of the church if the church were true, if Mormons were good. Remember, I was born and raised Mormon. If everything was great, I wouldn't be critical. I'd be the bad guy. I'd be the one attacking an innocent religion doing good around the world. But they're not doing good around the world. That's the whole problem. The percentage of what they claim is good shows that they're not even anywhere in the ballpark. You don't give a token amount of food during a pandemic because all they give is a partial meal to each and every single individual that's not charity again we can use scriptures to judge the church the widow and her might it is pointed out that the Pharisees love to show how wealthy they are and that they are giving to the poor and then the widow comes nobody sees her nobody cares about her and she gives her last mite and then it's said that she gave more than the Pharisees See, because the Pharisees are supposed to be giving to her, the widow, so that she wouldn't be poor. So there's something screwed up in the system, and he's pointed it out. 
Not that the widow was better for giving more, but the fact that the widow was a widow and poor while the Pharisees are giving because it's clearly not enough as their lifestyle is still great. Same with the church. The church's lifestyle is great. Trillions of dollars in liquid assets. Then there's the property assets on top of it as they just keep getting more and more temples breaking ground this year during a viral pandemic a virus pandemic yeah viral virus same thing <clears throat> what I witnessed yesterday being forced to leave my home in order to keep my lifestyle going Because if I stayed home, then I wouldn't be able to give myself basic necessities. That's the extortion that our government and the church are doing to us. And so in my trip yesterday, I visibly saw Utah crumbling into ruin. I witnessed the criminals. I witnessed the poverty and the homelessness. I witnessed the poor. There was an elderly couple who obviously were brand new to being homeless. They had brand new uh, suitcase, brand new sleeping bags. His jeans were worn, had holes in the knees, but she was fine. They still had their little dog. but they were homeless as they were catching a bus trip to go to wherever I go running every morning so I see the same vehicles every day I identify the same vehicles that pattern I know when certain people are leaving to go to work, most likely. I recognize the vehicles. But this morning, at least a half a dozen vehicles coming out of the neighborhood didn't recognize. The car that I told you was abandoned by the tracks it's finally gone but that's what criminals do they don't take cars that they steal to a chop shop anymore Utah has cut down on that and as a result all they do steal the vehicle drop it off and abandon it taking what they want from it and so this is what I saw when I was the neighborhood watch president doing my morning runs through the neighborhood and if you're unfamiliar with Utah our street systems are designed on the grid system Joseph Smith created it for Nauvoo and it was utilized here in Salt Lake and so there's no need to cut in to neighborhoods because the main roads are on a grid system and yet time and time again I used to see people cut in thinking it was going to go straight through being stopped by the park 
Yeah, I can tell they're outsiders. That they were up to no good. And so thus, when strange cars come out of the neighborhood, I know that they were up to no good. These are the consequences of a failed system. Failed government, failed economy. And the church runs everything in Utah which means they are the cause. Yet Utah wants to blame the victims. That's what the homeless were victimized for. And I wouldn't have to do any of this video. I would be focused on Paleo-Hebrew and Egyptian. Teaching people about the alphabet and the characters that they represent and the vocabulary and how to translate texts which there are very few Paleo-Hebrew texts which is why nobody else has been able to decipher it but I can have people taught how to write in Paleo-Hebrew same with Egyptian picture glyphs I could be posting my own grammar, more complete than Sir Alan Gardner's, or even Budge's. More accurate, definitely. Because I deciphered Egyptian picture glyphs. This is what I would be doing with my day, with my life, and instead I have to stand up against the church, against Mormons, against YouTube employees who are purposely distracting me from my work because of their evil. I wouldn't have to sue the church if the church were good and true. They are the ones who attacked me. They're the ones who labeled me as a troublemaker and created troublemaker file number 36434. They did this. They're the cause. Because they've been lying, deceiving, and covering up that they're frauds. That they don't know how to translate. That they don't even have the key of translator. And so when I come around and say, hey, Joseph Smith is a translator, they attack. And instead of cowering to them, I stand up and say, no, you will not abuse me. You will leave me alone. But again, I'm not in control. I don't have the power and the position and the authority. And the judges in the Utah Federal Court are siding with the church, violating their own laws to protect the church. I wouldn't have to file the lawsuit back in 2019 if the church didn't pay to have me assassinated. I wouldn't have to file this current one if the judges didn't let the church go. This is what bullies can never understand. You can't be the cause of evil 
and expect to get away with it. Because even bullies know that once you're the top guy, everybody's gunning for the top position. King of the mountain. And you have to fight for the rest of your life, watching your back, not trusting anyone, because you've chosen evil. This is why the church has to cease to exist. Evil cannot be allowed in any degree because it leads to the destruction of society, of humanity, of the human race. You do not follow corrupt orders. And yet this YouTube employee, he should have left me alone. Governor Herbert should have told Nelson, no, I care for the lives of Utahns and Mormons in Utah. I will not have them murdered under my watch as I leave office. But nope, he didn't do that, did he? wouldn't be doing these videos guys I wouldn't be speaking out against the church and damn them for making me do these videos <laughs>